It's Minnesota Severe Weather Awareness Week, and while it still feels like winter, it's important to remember conditions can change in a matter of days. Reporter Sherelle Moore reminds us of a few weather safety tips. Before long, the winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings will be replaced with severe thunderstorm and tornado watches and warnings. It's Minnesota Severe Weather Awareness Week. Each day represents something different, and Beltrami County participates in them all. Monday is meant to let people know the difference between watches and warnings. Watches means that conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather and or tornadoes, and warnings mean that they are occurring, likely to occur, or are imminent. Uh, and advisories are also issued for impactful weather events that don't quite meet the uh, criteria and threshold for watches and warnings. Tuesday is for storms, hail, and lightning. Hail uh, over an inch in diameter can cause significant and substantial property damage. Uh, and you don't always need to have a, a tornado to have those impactful uh, wind events. Wednesday, the conversation is shifted to flooding. If you ever encounter water going across the roadway, assume that the road isn't there. It may have washed out. And we always want to remind people, turn around, don't drown. If you encounter water across the roadway, don't drive through it, turn around. It may not seem like it today, but soon all the snow you see on the ground will melt. And when that day finally comes, it's best to be prepared for the new weather that comes with living in Minnesota. Thursday is Tornado Drill Day, so expect to hear a siren. The Tornado Drill is an opportunity for uh, businesses, residents, and, and people as they're traveling about uh, to practice what they would do if a tornado were uh, witnessed, warned, uh, or if you encounter one in your daily activities. So we want people to know where their shelter is and where they would seek shelter. On Friday, we move to extreme heat. And while it's rare we ever get into the triple digits, it's important to stay hydrated and be mindful of loved ones. If you uh, ever got back into your vehicle after it sat in the sun, it's like a greenhouse in there. It gets very hot very quickly. That's why I always want to remind people to check the back seat for children, pets. Never leave children and pets in vehicles as it can get very uh, dangerously hot in a short amount of time. Reporting in Bemidji, Shrell Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.